everyone and welcome to the Learning Lab. Today I'm sharing with you what we are using for art for 7th grade. So we used a Brenda Ellis book this year which was sketching which we really enjoyed so now we decided to go on to her next unit. So I picked two, we probably, as there are 36 projects of each one we we'll probably won't obviously do both of them in the whole year so what I'm planning at the moment is to do half and then half and then do the next portion in the following year that's what I think I'm going to do but I haven't completed my planning yet so I need to go through everything and make my final decision but off the top of my head that's what I thought when I bought them but we'll obviously see once I've done my planning and scheduled everything out which what would work best if it means that doing one this year and then doing that one next year that's fine I'm absolutely fine with that but let's have a look inside so we've got painting with watercolor pencils so this is a text and video art instruction so you do get um, a blu-ray and at the back is the DVD so don't panic like I did when I first saw that the DVD is at the back okay so there are nine units in this one and you do have some essential art materials so she does give you a, an option of different ones to purchase so I decided to go for these ones the Faber Castile or Castile however you say it, 36 gold Faber or Faber aqua pencils um, so that's what I decided to go for. So we've got primary colours, secondary, tertiary, complementary, neutral, colour tints, colour values, monochrome, white space, and then some evaluation sections at an objective and your bibliography at the back. So it does have text and video components, um, and it does explain how it's broken down. So the first section you have video instruction or the first page of each unit. The second one is building a visual a vocabulary. Third is art appreciation and history. And then um, the, the last page is master lesson, accumulating knowledge and skills. So the recommended schedule is for two classes per week. And she does give you some scheduling options here um, of, of how you can spread it out. So lesson one is all about primary colours and this is what it looks like inside. It's all really bright and visual. Um, this is the art appreciation. Then you have uh, the master lesson, so applying your knowledge and they always give you a picture of an example to look at, to compare or just for inspiration. And then this is unit two. The last one, which is unit nine. Then you get your evaluation sheet, your objectives for each lesson. And obviously the bibliography is at the back. And then we've got the second book, which is Painting with Watercolour. So this is the Vance level. Um, again, you've got your Blu-ray and DVD. She does also have this as a digital book online that you can use and, and watch the the uh, video online as well. So if you want, don't obviously want to purchase it as a physical copy, then that's an option for you. I do like having the physical copy, but obviously I know it's not always possible. So in terms of contents for this one, we've got primary colours, mixing colours and so on nine units in total again you did need some essentials so i decided to go for the windsor and newton cotman watercolor palette um basically i just compared all the prices and went with one that was within the budget and obviously it gives you additional materials as well again it gives you your schedule lesson types are the same um, as they were in the other book this one because it's an advanced one it does tell you how much um, credits you would get um, if you are counting them for high school which is really helpful for those that need to do that um, let's have a look at some lessons in here so this is wet on dry techniques you've got your art appreciation so this is a European artist I think the other one was an American one um, apply application master lesson yeah so this one's European artists and the other book was American. So it looks like inside. I do really appreciate the materials. I think they're really well made and great pre presented in a fantastic way. Um, as I said, we used the sketching one this year, which we did really enjoy. Be interested to see what we think of the more advanced levels this year. 
So something else we do still is the watercolour with me and we're still using these. We've been using them for a couple of years now but because obviously we've got three of them and we don't do it every single day. Um, it takes a while to go through but we're really enjoying these watercolour with me. Basically you get the colour chart, supplies and then a picture for you to paint. So she's still got in the jungle, in the forest and in the ocean. I really, really do like these watercolour with me books by Dana Fox. I wish she'd actually write more because I think they're fantastic. And to go along with art this year as well, we are doing a, an illustration unit. Um, it's one of our electives, but obviously it's artistic in nature. So we'll be incorporating that and digital arts as well. Um, we'll be doing with um, various apps that she can download. So yes, I'm really excited for art this year. It is definitely something she really enjoys to do and I'm looking forward to delving into these materials I'll definitely let you know how they go and what we think of them and everything else throughout the year uh, this is for art I do have videos for language art science um, which I'll link, link below if you want to see what we're doing for art uh, for, not for art because you've seen that with for what we're doing for language art for science and so on in the description box and I've also got my whole year grade six curriculum video out now as well so that's everything thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video take care